All right, today is day five, 20 minute check-in. We are looking at a 13 mile day. We got started at Pomfort Road right above Woodstock and we're heading to the Happy Hill Shelter. So that's thir roughly 13, a little under 13 away. We'll go through West Hannaford, I think it is little small town there and then on the other side of that get back up in the woods and we'll uh be looking for that shelter so had a lot of rain last night it rained all night long so hopefully the ground was so dry that it just soaked it up rather than turning into mud the um it was really dry here and I had heard rumors that they were, in fact, I think it came from a caretaker. It's a little better than a rumor that they were gonna shut the woods down because of fire danger. Look at the sun coming up over there. And we're, we're getting a late start today because it rained till six o'clock this morning and we're gonna have a short day to get to happy hill uh and then even shorter day tomorrow about seven miles and tomorrow we will be in is it norwich yep. norwich which is the border so we will be finishing vermont tomorrow so that's that's exciting i got one more one more state under my belt that'll be number six and so that'll be pretty cool so that's the plan and then we're done we're hiking go back and help retread get the camper cleaned up and then on thursday fly out fly home on friday and get to see trail balls in the trail doggy coda and trail kittens uh or kitties tinkerbell and kenobi and yes my daughter named kenobi as in obi-wan all right so we got a big up here and we're gonna tackle it and keep on moving, but it's pretty. Once y'all see all this, it's like pine needle carpet. This treadway is right now is mainly pine needles. Instead of mud, we're expecting a lot of mud after the rain we got last night. So, all right, I am taking up the rear as usual coming up this hill we'll chat with you up trail all right okay here is a maple syrup collection system so way up yonder you see your first hose they're tapped into the trees they want to run around that tree they run down through those trees wrap into that tree Come around that tree, there's a plug, there's a tap. It's running by me right here. They're tapped into the tree right here. I guess they drill something in the tree because that's plastic. I can't see nothing coming through it. There's a plunger. No, I don't know what that is, but I don't see anything running through it. But anyway, comes around here, ties into the main line. And then it keeps on going from that tree to that tree. Oh, it's way up yonder. I don't have a clue how far down the hill it goes. Heck, it may go all the way to the bottom, and they just fill the bucket up at the bottom. But uh, that is very, very fascinating. That beats corn in a tree and hanging a bucket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come along and said that beats corn in a tree and hanging a bucket and coming up here and collecting it. That is uh, it's pretty cool. And they keep this this tight here 
that string tight so that it's no sags or anything in it. So that is quite the system they got going on here. Oh, and see this tree has got a tap here. Got a tap there. And another one on the back side. And I don't know if there's nothing running out of it or it's just solid sap running out of it that we can't see. I don't know, but anyway, that is one of the ways they collect maple syrup here in Vermont to make, oh, there's a big old huge black line over here. So they all must tie in to that main line that runs down the hill. If you see that, if I get in on it, that's a big thick black line right there. It's like, like they would get water out of a well. Anyway, pretty dang neat. And I bet you it goes all the way down the hill and they just pull off the side of the road and fill her up. All right, thought y'all might want to see. It. All right, we got a, a wall here, stone wall. We figure marks the boundary that uh, those collections for the maple syrup, or the maple sap was, we we're talking about being on National Park Service property because there's a corridor you know, that's a trail runs through, but it's very narrow. And that's National Park Service uh, property. But we figure, on those, and it was on the other side of a stone wall like that. So it must be that that's on private property. Is what we figure. Our figure may not be correct, but... And that stone wall could have been an old demarcation line for where they've cleared this up here. And at one time it was a livestock pasture for a homestead. Because we're in the middle of a cleared area. Doesn't appear natural in the middle of all these woods anyway. And the trail still goes up. So here's one of them walls I was telling you about. So undoubtedly this was a part of that field that we just crossed through. All the trees are small and through here. So and oh oh there's another one up here. So we're like we're going through both of them? No. Well, good question. I'm lost. I can't see a blaze. You tell me. Well, we would have been, uh, you sh they should have had a blaze right here. This is, uh, well, I don't know if that's a, if that means trail intersection because it's nothing offset. That's one of, the, one of those signs you have a hard time reading. It well, that. they've put this crap over that trail, so that's not it. Somebody's put I don't that in. That, that there's a Let's try gut hooks. What do you think? Yeah. I don't see nothing on any trees down through there. See, this could be just up to a stealth site. This is what happens when you get lost on the trail. All right, I'm going. We're going to gut hooks to figure it out. All right, we solved the mystery. Started going the wrong way up the hill. So now we're going the right way. It's rock walls on both sides. It's, Almost like a freaking boulevard going down through here. It's pretty cool. Anyhow, now we got found us a white blaze, so we're good to go. We actually started going the wrong way. And it didn't take uh, 50 yards until I looked at gut hooks and I was off. So gut hooks has really saved my bacon a lot of times make sure i'm on the right trail so i would highly encourage you even if you're a section hiker to you can buy it in sections or buy the whole time whole thing but it's a lifetime subscription so i just bought the whole thing knowing i'd be doing the whole trail updates are free and all that neat stuff so all right charlie mike
I'm going to come back and my buddy that lives in Asheville, I'm going to hook up to him and we'll come down and see you. And if you want, we'll all go do trail magic up in North Carolina. Kind of thing. So, you know, there it is. But, you know, it's not... Unless somebody has come out here to do any of this much, they don't have any clue about it. Of course, you know, I didn't have a clue about any of this until I tried in and started hiking, you know? Yeah. I don't have a clue what type of berries these are, but they are in places awful prolific. I'd love to know if I could eat them. I ain't gonna try it. A lot will be poison to me, but they're everywhere in some spots where they look good. Somebody knows, let me know if I missed out. This section is really prolific with some great views getting these fields on top of these peaks it's just great views you got some all kind of little flowers growing some goldenrod there these uh purple type of flowers i'm not sure what that is but gorgeous gorgeous views up here in this high country area So when you get up here, this is the second field coming up off of Palmerford uh, Road. When you get up here at the very top, there is a place to put a couple tents. There's no water up here, so you'll have to haul water all the way down from Palmerford Road when you first get on the trail. But nice place there. Uh, goes back in the woods pretty quick. So one thing I've decided is that, uh, and I'll take some advice come along and he won't ever watch this so he uh he won't know i said this but i'm giving him a little bit of respect there as a through hiker made it all the way to new york and then some that um he said that if you don't want to overheat as much then you just take your time or slow down going up hills now he flies up the hills of course he's got his trail legs i don't so I'm going to take his advice and slow down and that way i'm just not so hot all the time just of course i'm gonna be wet i got it I'm gonna be hot i get it but maybe a temperature or less maybe a little less out of breath maybe a little less going over my maximum heart rate will make it just a little more enjoyable so i'm gonna i'm gonna test that theory on this section uh, that we're hiking today and see how that goes instead of trying to keep up with him as much as possible. Now going downhill, I have found out it's a whole lot easier to kind of speed up and almost run downhill as long as you don't do something stupid and fall. Um, it just seems to be easier on my knees. We'll see. but. Of course, I did take an endo yesterday. It landed right on my knee. All right, we're back in the woods. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out what tree that heathen came off of. I don't see anything around here with the same bark. Maybe that one, but that one ain't really big. So that one, I don't know where it came from, but that is a big old limb to come out of the top of something uh trying to figure that out and then all of a sudden see a lot of sunlight and come around the corner in this field and boom there you go there's what you have around corners on the at nice long range view gorgeous absolutely gorgeous So we're about <clears throat> four miles from, I think it's West Hartford. And I'm gonna stop and get a bite to eat there because it's gonna be about lunchtime then. And we're about, I think it was uh, 4.8 West Hartford and 8.8 .8 T 
to where we're staying tonight. The shelter. Oh man, look at this. And this wind is just. You know what? I'm taking my pack off right here. I'm gonna let this wind. I'm gonna let this wind dry me off for just a bit. Because it's good and cool right here. Come along somewhere far ahead. Not far ahead, but he's ways up there. He'll be alright. He's a big boy. Alright, so we are a mile and a half out of West Harford. Uh want to share with you my experiment I talked about this morning about slowing down, particularly going uphill. So that for me has made it a whole lot more enjoyable. I used to, or typically uh, power up the hills as fast as I can. Well, I made a conscious effort not to today. And I'm enjoying the hike a whole lot more. Not as ringing wet. I've yet to get my heart rate up so high that I'm just huffing and a puffing. The steeper the climb, the more I slow down. Um, and another thing that it's been a result is it's apparently not as hard on my feet because my plantar fasciitis has not hurt me. Uh, first several hours, I, I just it wasn't a presence at all. It's a presence now, but that's about it. And I can stretch it out when it starts getting to be at all more than that and it seems to do me for another 45 minutes or so but if i slow down not an issue so i'm thinking that's going to be my new hiking style instead of trying to worry about doing as many miles as i can is just slow down and of course been able to enjoy the walk um the woods and the birds and stuff more too because I can hear them because I'm not breathing so dadgum hard so that's been rewarding so on the flats and the downhill I'll go a little faster but uphill I'm going to slow it down alright coming into West Hartford that'll be the next shot do not miss these blueberry thickets that are right from, up from West Far Harford on top of the mountain. Berries. Oh, shit. Do not miss. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Do not miss the raspberry thicket up on top of the hill here above West Hartford. They are good. Mm -mm. Wild ras ra wild raspberries. That is great. <laughs> All right, we're coming into the town of West Hammer Hannerford. It's not much of a town, my understanding is, because it was wiped out by the flood when Irene came through. We Goodhook says that that blue house over there to the right has trail magic, and they got a. Must be set up to help hikers because they got um, Porter John sitting out there. So, anyway, we're going to stop by and see. I don't know what. There's Pomfret Road again. All the way up here. That's where we got off last night. But, anyhow, we are here at the river. Dang, if this river don't look inviting. You might want to say we took a knee row here. We've been here for like three, three hours, but this is the, on Thursdays from 3.30 to 6.30, they have farmer's market and they got food trucks and ice cream and jerk chicken and hamburgers and, and uh, Linda over there at the greenhouse and the blue barn is awesome. She had all kind of drinks and stuff for us. And um, 
yogurt and oh gosh just amazing stuff so anyway if you come through on a thursday uh bring you some cash for the farmer's market and that's about it here in west hannaford there is there's the general store but it is no longer open so oh and also the river the river is cool so you might want to take a dip there if you come through on a hot time or hot day all right we are continuing on to happy hill which is three miles and some change and that'll be our stop for the day okie doke see you up trail all right so this is captain stashes at my marker 1722 they let you tent in their backyard they have a spigot there that they'll let you use so if you're no bow here's a couple things about the spigot if you're going to happy hill if you're going to happy hill happy hill there's a water source before the shelter like two miles so if you water up here you're gonna have to tote it uphill all the way the to the to happy hill shelter as opposed to getting it from a water source like a mile from there if you're and that's no bow if you're going subo this road so it goes down there it turns into bridge it goes across the river uh it goes up a tremendous hill and if you get water here captain captain's house you're gonna have to tote it all the way up that hill and into the woods and right when you get in the woods there's actually a water source there which is a pretty decent water source we came through dry when it was on a dry time and there's water there so just keep that in mind if you're hiking through here all right back to business all right we made it to the happy hill shelter this is the only shelter i've ever seen that it looks like happy hill the name of the shelter was done in ceramic tile it's crazy so come along has fixed us some we found us a Reese mushroom fixed us some Reese tea I have no idea what that does. It could be a carcinogen. Could extend my life by a week to 10 days. I'm game for the We're former, not the last. favor and put you out of your misery. <laughs> well, that would be, a, that would be what? I mean, that wouldn't help. I don't, I don't know what that, I'm not really in misery right now. I'm kind of enjoying this. So I don't know what misery I'm in. I guess I'm in misery because I got to go back to work in a few days or that'd be about the only misery anyway we're at happy hill that's the end of the day we're done there's our camp up there give you a little zoom action there yeah and, and the big white pine forest. what i say we had tomorrow how many miles five and some change i thought you said seven but i might be guessing yeah he's been doing a lot of guessing that's for dang sure. All right. We'll see about it tomorrow, but for now, we are bingo.